Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics with a really fun project today. This wall hanging back uh, behind me is called Lucky Charms and made from two quilt blocks with the collection from Andover, also called Lucky Charms. I'm Irish, maybe you are too. I love the subtleness of this. It's not that overt um, St. Patrick's Day uh, collections we sometimes see. They're fun too, but I love the more sophisticated look really nice maybe for an entryway over a special table so we're just going to go over how the two blocks go together it's much simpler than it appears uh, we start right away with some simple strip piecing we made some four patch in the two corners notice the cream background is the same but the green changes um, and this is directional so when you have your strip piece unit i have just a small section here you'll press toward the green and you'll grab for your ruler and cut some two inch sections, which I've done ahead of time. And you'll wanna be mindful of the fact, again, that this is a directional print. Not so much to worry about here. I think this could be turned sideways and have the same appearance, but this is very directional. So if you wanna have your stripes going up and down, just make sure when you have your two pieces that those are in this orientation um, so that the stripes will be going up and uh, straight up and down here and all throughout that diagonal. Place those right side together and because we press that to the green, we have this lovely interlocking seam. Let's just go to our sewing machine right now. And I've got uh, some quarter inch seam guides and aids on there to help me and stay true to that quarter inch seam allowance. There we are. And I'm going to press that seam open and evenly distribute that bulk. And of course, that's easy peasy, right? We just make our four patch, nothing terribly surprising about that. Again, just mindful of the orientation of the fabric when you're working with a directional print. Same concept here, same concept here. So we're gonna focus on these two areas right here. And I wanted to point out something right now because at first glance, it appears that you would just make four of those units. Notice how these fabrics are on opposite sides. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention that for each of the Irish chain blocks, this is called the Irish chain, you will do two that has the darker green on the left. Those are just cut. Let me just move this out of the way. So we're only focusing on this part. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to cut two of those rectangles and sew them together. And of course, for this side, right, sew that together. So we'll just focus on this right here. We have our, again, cream with the pretty light, kind of limey green uh, clovers in there. And draw our line. And we'll place that right here. And we just drew that diagonal with a friction pan, whatever you want, diagonal to diagonal. And let's just go straight uh, so straight on that line. Press to the outside. And we will trim that. And then again, over on this side. So on the line, flip to the outside. And of course, you're going to have this unit. And for each one of the blocks, two of those. And you'll just make sure in this instance, the light green's on the left. And then the same process. So once you have all of that together, you can kind of just look at our block again. We have the dark in those corners. I'll just rebuild the block. So now that the block is laid out, it's always great to reference this here. You know, it'd be very easy to turn this 
get the orientation off. Once you're sure everything is in its proper location, then we're simply assembling the top row, middle row, bottom, and then sewing them all together. As you place this right side together, I'm going to actually sew on this side because this one is facing down. I'll just do that real quick. I just want to show you with some good pinning right in those corners and the honest corner <laughs> seam allowance that that seam guide saves me every day these days. Keeps me from going heavy on that seam allowance. Press our seam open. There are some specific uh, pressing information inside that pattern. Just want to call that to you. You know, pressing in my early days of, of quilting, I didn't realize how important that was. Um, the importance of interlocking seams, helping a block to nest well so the points come out lovely and that the block lies flatter. So you can see that nice pinning created just a beautiful corner right there. And I like to put that right back into position. Again, right side together, pin, pin, sew, press open, repeat, repeat. Sew all of those together. And again, press your seams open, evenly distributing that. So that's how we make our Irish chain block. The next one is so easy. It's easy, easy peasy. And that's the clover leaf unit. We just start off with really just a five inch square. I believe it's a five inch square. Yes, it is. So if you don't even want to cut five inch squares, you can use the perfect five. Um, sometimes Creative Grid will create that mission specific ruler. If you just want to be able to lay that down, making sure you're running nice and parallel to the, the stripes in here, then and cut around. This may be your perfect ruler. I'd use that in conjunction with a spinning mat or just cut your five inch squares. Again, this is one where we want to be very deliberate about the orientation because you certainly want to have those um, going upright. So this one is so easy. We'll have three squares, one in each corner, each of three corners, I should say just like this here we've drawn the line we sew on the line press to the outside sew on the line press the outside press the outside trim 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 easy easy peasy right you can see all that it looks like in this instance ah i'm glad i turned this over what i just saw and why that's important i'm so used to just pressing to the outside the reason and we did do that with this one the reason that we actually didn't do this with this one here is so that when we sew these blocks together we have interlocking seams let me show you what i mean if i had just pressed that to the outside which is our natural instinct right we have done this since we started learning how to be quilters if we just press these to the outside which is what i absolutely did as a beginner a quilter we, we just talked about this when I lay this right side together, I have one layer and one layer, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Talk about lopsided. It creates a lot of unnecessary bulk and the block's not going to lie as flat. Therefore, the pressing instructions here of these two being opposite what that's going to do for us is what it did before, and that was those awesome interlocking seams. We will pin in that place first, because that's what we're going for. We want that to just hit it. The other two would be next. Let's sew that together and see if we hit that spot just as we wanted because we know now we have interlocking seams. It's 
So let's press this open, see how we did here. I love how flat this lace because we had even layers, the same amount of layers of <laughs> my early quilts that are so lopsided because I didn't know about this kind of distribution of seams. Everything was pressed to the side, always the same side, I think, too. Now look how lovely that is, right? It's just exactly what we're hoping for. Same here, right side together. Of course, we're really going to be zeroing in on that spot, pinning, pinning, sewing that together, and then sewing the upper and the portion, upper portion, bottom portion together, pinning in the middle first, where we care about that coming together, pin the corners, and then press that open. Of course, you'll make uh, looks like four of those. You'll make five of your Irish chain. And just as you can see here, uh, we're hoping all of our points are going to come together. Very careful pinning. Certainly pressing those seams uh, open. And now come your inner border and your outer border. I want to call attention to the miter in the corner. We chose the stripe. thought this was really pretty to kind of, again, accentuate the Irish component of this. In that corner, there's a miter. So if you haven't mitered corners before, they're actually easier than they seem. There'll be a video at the end of this one. If you want to see how we miter corners here, be sure to check that out. Thanks for letting me show you how actually easy it is to make the wall hanging. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done that, and we'll see you soon on another shabby video.